Hey planner friends, it's Mia. Welcome to Life with Mia. Today I am unboxing the iPad Air 5, the Apple Pencil, and the Magic Keyboard Folio. So um, to give you a little background, if you're new to my channel or not someone who watches all of my videos, I've been talking a while about getting an iPad. Um, I have an iPad. It is generation negative zero. <laughs> I've had it for a really long time. I want to say I got it like in 2015. So um, it still works, but I can no longer make updates to it because it's, it is pretty outdated. So it's like eight, nine years old. Um, this was an iPad mini. I probably will trade it in at some point. Um, maybe when I get a MacBook. Um, I have a MacBook now, but it's, it's, out of space and so at some point in the future I will get a new MacBook as well. So I was looking at the iPad Air 5 which is what I purchased and the iPad Pro. I decided to go with the iPad Air 5. Um, it has a 10.9 inch screen. I upgraded to have more space so we have 256 um, instead of, I believe, the 64 that it comes with. It's got the Apple M1 chip, all-day battery life. Um, so that is what I ended up with. Now, initially, I was looking at purple. Y'all know I'm a blue fan. I was looking at purple because I didn't like the pictures of the blue. But I watched a couple of YouTube videos and saw someone unboxing a blue and that brought me back to blue, and I like the color, the blue. So, we ended up with the blue. So, let's um, unbox this. Hopefully, it has some juice to it, so we can power it on. Um, and so, I'm excited to be able to do a few things with this um, device. Um, one is to be able to design stickers. Another thing is um, some digital planning and creating digital planners and testing them out. Um, just like taking notes. I've used my I used my previous one for um, taking pictures and video um, at events, um, recording at events. I might start editing some videos. I don't know. Don't hold me to that one, y'all. But um, just a handful of things. I like to read on the iPad. And listen, the eyesight is not as good as it used to be. So um, <laughs> having a larger device is probably not the worst thing for me. Because we can't see like we used to be able to see. So let's see. I hit the power button. But I think it is... Oh, there it goes. Okay, let's see how much juice it's got. Oh, 93%. Okay, we're good. So it includes the cable and a plug. Um, so yay for that. And... I just need English, y'all. I just need English. So we also have an Apple Pencil. This is the second generation Apple Pencil. If I didn't say it, the um, iPad Air 5 with the upgraded space was $749. Apple Pencil second generation is $129. Um, it has wireless pairing and it attaches magnetically. I have never used the Apple Pencil before. Didn't have one with my previous device. So... Um, this will be my first time doing that. So I'm over here on my phone to get this set up. Um, I don't want to do it on camera because I don't want to accidentally show my um, account information, so bear with me. So 
So like right now it's like in our passcode. I don't need y'all to know my passcode. Um, it's it it's actually got a little bit more weight to it than I was thinking it would have. It's not heavy, but it, it's it's weighty. Um, so here's the Apple Pencil. And I think it like... I'm going to set up Touch ID later. know where the um oh there we go so the here's the pencil attach it magnetically so let's agree to these terms and conditions Um, and then the Magic Keyboard Folio is available in black and white. I got the black version. And it also serves as a folio. Like, there's two pieces. So, you can detach it. don't know what I want to do. Okay, we're going to add things from my iPhone. Um, so, the folio, I wanted to have a keyboard. There was another less expensive option available for a keyboard, but they said the key, like the keyboard itself, doesn't have the greatest feeling. So, um, Apple's doing the most over here, asking me for credit card information to set up my wallet. Um, I'm just really not trying. That's why I'm blocking it right now. <laughs> I'm not trying to show you guys all of that. I wasn't expecting it to do all of this. Um, this Magic Keyboard Folio was $2.99. And... Here's the outside. It's like kind of like a hard case. And I mean, it's stiff. So I don't know. It may be as far as it opens up. Here's the keyboard. The keys are very similar to my Mac. I have a um, MacBook Air, which I absolutely love. It just doesn't have enough space on it anymore. Um, so that was one of the reasons why I got the 256. Because I know I'm just going to download a few apps and 64 is gone. So, um, yeah, that is what I did. Now, this is a magnetic keyboard. It's got the trackpad. Um, You've got function keys on here, and um, it says you can attach it magnetically, but I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Let's see. Oh, there, it just snaps right on there. No, no, no problem. So it is um, attached. It's doing a little software update right now, but it is attached and um, 
it's like having a little baby computer. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's like perfect. It's like a little baby computer. Um, so, you know, I'm, I've been saving for this and I also, um, every year I get, I have the option to do leave buyback where I sell my vacation leave back to my employer. I work for state government, um, and vacation is an elusive thing for the last three years. Um, so last year when I sold back leave, we can sell up to 80 hours, um, I did some furniture and things for Studio Blizzco this year. Um, I did this. And so $7.49 for the iPad Air, $1.29 for the pencil, and um, $2.99 for the Magic Keyboard Folio. I um, put all of that on an Apple Card. I have an Apple Card. I don't talk about it because I don't use it. Um and then, like, two days later when it posted, I paid it off with the leave buyback. So, the one nice thing that that allowed me to do was, I think I earned $40 in Apple cash. Um, and so, that went into savings. Um, and, you know, Apple doesn't really give discounts. So, any way that you can get some cash back is always a nice thing. But, yeah, this is my iPad Air 5. Um, we've got the little pencil here magnetic so it attaches and I believe that's also how it um charges um but it's it's updating and hopefully want it will finish quickly and then I can show y'all a few things but um I just wanted to give you like a real life unboxing so that you could see what it is out the box I'm pretty excited about it I also want to go take a nap so I don't know that I'm going to get into playing with it, but the first thing I'm probably going to do is download um, like Good Notes and a digital planner just because I want to play around with it and try it out. I would love to know if you use um, any Apple device um, or any other device and do any type of digital planning. Um, I'm never going to <laughs> shift away from stickers because stickers are life. Uh, but I, you know, it's just like notes on the go and, um, it's something that I definitely want to bring to my shop because I know people enjoy digital planning. And so to be able to make like a digital planner or digital journal or digital notebook or any type of digital products, I have a few now, um, I have some printables, but like, I want to be able to make some digital products and, um, this will allow me to be able to like test them out in advance and, um, bring you all digital stickers and those types of things. So I'm always looking to expand the product offerings for Studio Bliss Co. And this is one thing that I'm going to be able to use to help me get there. Um, if the software ever updates. Hmm. So we have that. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, that's everything that I can really think of. Um, side note, I got my little, uh, notes here uh, on my cloth and paper A5 notebook. This notebook is amazing. So I've already jumped into it and started using it. And I was just trying to write down everything I wanted to share with you all about these three items, um, on there. So I'm never going to not use paper and pen. Paper and pen are like my favorites, but, um, I love to use a computer iPad, notebook, whatever it may be for some things digitally. And, um, this, this is going to help me like just expand things. So I'm excited about that. Um, this is taken a while to update. Not sure, um, how much longer it's going to take. Um, there's quite a bit on my phone. So, um, my phone is telling me to enjoy my new iPad. I will as soon as you finish loading all the things. So, I, um, one of the things I love about Apple is all, like, it's always pretty seamless. You don't need to know how to do things for it to work. And you just follow the prompts. Um, I like that, um, it says my iCloud was last updated at, like, 12 or something this morning. So, one of the cool things is that, like, I can just 
add from the iCloud everything that's already on my phone um, very easily. So that's, it just, it makes it so easy. Now on that old iPad, I have some things on there that I know they're not synced into the cloud. Um, and I need to figure out what to do with that because, um, like my, my grandfather's funeral service, military funeral, um, is there's videos and photos on there that I definitely don't ever want to lose. Um, so I've got to figure that out. And, um, I know like on my phone, I don't have the Kindle app, so I'll add that on here, on here as well. Um, I will add, like I said, good notes, um, probably procreate and we're just going to play around with it and figure out, you know, all the things. Um, but I, I am by no means, I know Apple does a ton of things. I like how across different devices, you can have like all the same things. Like sometimes my phone will ring and it'll ring on my back book. It, it's just a great, to, to me, it's a great user experience how all the products work well together. Um, but I know that I don't know everything that is available. So I would love to know your best tips, tricks, um, ideas, advice on, you know, maybe a little known fun fact about um, an Apple product that you know, I may not know about, and there's a lot of them that I don't think I know about. So if you can share those down in the comments with me, something that it does, um, I would love, 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 love to have that feedback. Um, but this has taken forever, so I'm not going to keep you all, but those are my fun new goodies, Apple iPad Air 5, Apple Pencil second generation, and the iPad Magic Keyboard. I will, um, probably in my, I'm going to do a little budget thing on here. So I, I will come back for probably my next video and show you all, um, what I got set up on here. Um, so don't forget to leave down below those tips, tricks that you may have. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, but I will see you next time. Bye.